Welcome back to the Hawkeye Garage. I am Joe. The GX is behind me, grillless. Uh, yeah, we're gonna obviously be working on the grill today, ripping the old one out and putting another old one back in. Stay tuned. Uh, yep, that's right. I have repainted the old grill and kind of glued it back together the best I could. Um, you know, I've done the, the Raptor lights and stuff. Pretty sure I have a video on that. Probably should have checked that before I made this video. Anyway, uh, I'm pretty sure I've done the Raptor light video on this and my fourth gen, and I may have shown fixing the grill, the attachment points on the fourth gen. Fairly certain I haven't done it on the GX. Anyway, uh, this grill that was on it that I had painted is getting all rock chipped and stuff. Uh, it's time to fix it, replace it, do something. Um, uh, I got in contact with someone through the GX Facebook page uh, who is an absolute legend and sent me a few parts, uh, just maybe pay for the shipping. Some fog lights, which we're gonna work on those. So, yeah, I know I did the quad lights already, but as you know, long time viewers know I can't ever leave well enough alone. I have a set of fog lights and I have some other lights coming for free. So yeah, we'll, we'll do another option. Why not? Anyway, back to the grill. They sent me a grill uh, so that I can have another one and play with it, get it ready and swap it out while I play with the old one and decide what color scheme I want to do on that one. But I figured while I had it out, I would show you a couple uh, quick Joe tips. Yep. Uh, Joe tips on how to reuse the busted grill um, because they all break. The attachment points for all these GX's, the fourth gens, they all break. Um, and I'll show you a couple ideas, a couple ways that I've used to resurrect those. All right, here is the new grill. Now, this was uh, in pretty poor shape, and if the person who sent me this is watching this, uh, we talked about it, and we both had a good laugh about how terrible it was. I don't know if they uh, flat-toed this GX behind a camper or something, but it was rock-chipped really, really, really bad. Um, so I just took the sander to it, uh, orbital sander and some hand sanding, like 220 grit, Cleaned it up, knocked it all down. Um, some primer, I used some filler, like some Duplicolor filler primer. I used some, what else did I use? Some Rust-Oleum primer. Um, be careful with your paints. Sometimes they mix, sometimes they don't. Um, and then I put a coat of black uh, Rust-Oleum sandable primer, that much I do remember, um, as the final coat because obviously I have painted it black. Um, and for the, the main grill part, I did a uh, Krylon bed liner. It's, I would never want to you know, paint a bed with it. I have my rock sliders uh, painted with it and that's about the extent uh, that I would want to paint anything that's going to see a lot of um, you know, usage. Uh, and my rock sliders need uh, another coat. Um, it's been a year. So, uh, not even a year. Anyway, uh, I did that, and then I hit it with a coat of um, matte Rust-Oleum clear coat, um, just to kind of even out the sheen uh, and the texture as best as I could. It kind of just feels like textured black plastic now. Um, and then this center uh, Lexus piece, um, there's, it's held on by two screws and a clip in the, in the back, and the whole thing comes off. I just did that in a like uh, matte, uh, Rust-Oleum um, matte black, that's the paint and primer all in one. And then I hit it with the same clear coat. It gives a little bit of a, you know, distinction for the center part. will give you a better look once it's installed. Anyway, you would never know that that was all rock chipped all to heck um, and awful before. And of course I got the Raptor lights back in. So the mounting points, there's just little screws held in um, basically by plastic tabs I guess and there should be let's zoom out again here should be one two three four five six seven eight there should be eight of them uh, this one currently had two <laughs> intact um, and I have resurrected a third one now in the past I've just done two-part epoxy when I took this previous grill off uh, probably didn't help that I did it when it was hot in the middle of summer and the car was hot from driving around. Some of them came apart okay, some of them didn't. I had to use vice grips. Um, I have used the fast drying JB Weld. And this tab uh, was not there. Uh, 
how much how awesome uh, the person that sent me this sent me all the broken bits too so that I had um, some of them I couldn't do anything with but this one was a full one I could just I it was obviously obvious where it went where it laid into place JB welded it back in these little tabs basically are the equivalent of spot welded into place like they're just only attached in a very couple small areas and the hardware is supposed to slide in well of course the bolts and the nuts get rusted and then you try to undo it and the head turns and then you end up breaking them um, so glue them all back together glue the fastener in there and make sure to use some kind of um, never seize or something on these threads so that when you go to take it back off hopefully everything will stay put and nothing will break let's see this one up here was in intact um, I just gr glued uh, the hardware uh, in place but then I also went around and added a bunch of JB weld like I said they're they're essentially just spot welded into place um, and I added a bunch more you know, structure some reinforcement the best that I could now um, you're probably thinking that's three attachment points there's no way uh, that's really enough uh, it technically probably is enough um, but I'm way ahead of you Let's put it on the car and take another look. All right, come up behind the grill, the bottom two corners. There should be uh, factory hardware, and you'll see that I have some hardware there currently. Um, it just goes through these little um, tabs, and then you would, you know, bolt it all together. Now, if we go around to the front of my grill, I have a tiny little screw there and a tiny little screw there. They're 632 stainless screws, an inch long. And all I've done is I started from the back um, and I drilled through the front so that I would know where it lined up. And um, I, the way that this grill originally is that the tab on the grill would not have been perpendicular, I guess, to the hood structure. So I did have to get up here, you know, you just bend this uh, tab in a little bit so that that hardware comes in essentially at a 90 degree angle and it's easier to put a nut on it if you're going to do this you'll that will all make sense once you uh, put it in there and line everything up um, so i'm just going to put a washer and a nut on the back i'll put the nuts uh, on the back here and there we have it uh looks pretty good you can kind of you know see that where the grill is textured and this is more of a smooth gives a nice kind of a subtle effect, but uh, I've already bolted this in place. It is super sturdy, it's super secure, and some paint, some sanding, some screws, and some JB Weld is a whole lot cheaper than buying, what, a $100 eBay special uh, reproduction grill, or spending two, three, four hundred dollars $400 on an aftermarket grill for one of these things. Well, there it is, uh, that pretty much wraps it up. I realized that was a super fast uh, kind of quick and dirty video on redoing one of those grills. Um, if you have had no mounting hardware, none of those plastic fingers intact on the back, um, and you were not able to glue any of them back together, I'll grab some of this. Um, you could do, on those four corners, uh, just drill holes and put those little screws in. Uh, you can access it from the back on all four corners, and it would be completely secure, uh, and it would, you know, it'd be fine. You have paint and some screws and you'd have a grill um, that you could take on and off too if you wanted to change the color or touch up rock chips or add lights or whatever you wanted to do. Uh, anyway, like I said, I'll drop links to videos down below. The person that sent me that grill, if you're watching, thank you so much. I think it turned out pretty darn good. Um, and if you're new to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, turn those notifications on, and of course, click that subscribe button. I will also drop links to my Instagram, my Facebook down below where I post all of this stuff and a whole lot more a whole lot more often than once a week yes Sundays that's when we drop videos I know I said Wednesday videos are coming I have all kinds of stuff to film and no time to film it so please uh, just bear with me and there'll be lots of great content coming your way so until that next video drops thank you for watching take care goodbye